Steppy behind the gate there, the Bayarchon driven Nautilus B. That one is reset, but has got a race to catch the gate. And that starting gate swings off the turn into the stretch. Six to five on seven, Arliza. It's the super final for three year old trotting Phillies next. Here they come. And they're off. Good beginning at the inside. No one punching out of there with speed. From the rail is PL Rainbow Dash. In the center of the racetrack, Willie's home run. Arliza sweeping up in a three-wide path. Four-wide speed from Kinder Hotblood. So charging into that first turn on that early lead. Down the center drives out Willie's home run. But pressing on goes Arliza. Third is no one trotting up fourth. Kinder Hotblood backed up into fifth goes PL Rainbow Dash. Breaker in the backfield. Henry's charge. Valuable miss rolled off stride three wide speed by the quarter in 27 and one and it's long shot kinder hot blood working her way to the front our liza back into second at three eighths third is willie's home run no one fourth fifth inside to pl rainbow dash then love those legs trotting in seventh is nautilus b field approaches the midway point and a two-length lead for kinder hot blood kinder hot blood hits the half in 55 and four our liza continues along second willie's home run behind the speed in third. No one trots along fourth at the rail. Here pops out PL Rainbow Dash from in fifth. Her presence on the rim will get them out of the two and three hole. Possibly there goes Arliza. Moving up, Willie's home run. Pop to the outside two. So they go to three quarters. Kinder Hot Blood is under attack. Here's Arliza. Willie's home run is third outside. The rail fourth for no one. Covered up is PL Rainbow Dash into fifth. Now three quarters in 125 and two. Arliza strikes the front. Here off cover comes Willie's home run. P.L. Rainbow Dash four wide and driving. No one looks for racetrack late. Willie's home run explodes off cover and drives away here in deep stretch. P.L. Rainbow Dash in hot pursuit in second, but in a race for place it appears as Willie's home run will touch them all. Willie's home run to score by four lengths in the super final over P.L. Rainbow Dash. Then finishing third, love those legs. 153 and one for Willie's home run. A repeat win in the Super Final for Willie's home run and uh, adds another 150 grand. Uh, just so impressive. Closing in on comes him. Willie's home run. PL Rainbow Dash four wide and driving. No one looks for racetrack late. Willie's home run explodes off cover and drives away here in deep stretch. PL Rainbow Dash in hot pursuit in second, but in a race for place it appears as Willie's home run will touch them all. Willie's home run to score by four. Four lengths in the super final over PL Rainbow Dash, then finishing third, love those legs. 153 and 1 for Willie's home run. Willie's home run captures the OSS Super Final for three old trotting Phillies. Uh, James, let's talk about what you, uh, you know, the game plan off the gate. Were you keen on wanting to follow our Liza? Is, is that was, the, was it a little bit of a chess match going on early on? Yeah, there was quite a bit. I, I just, this was a race I really didn't know how to drive. I, I just kind of let it unfold. But uh, I, I figured Jody would have to go forward, and uh, you know, it, where horses are kind of similar, his, they're both, they both can win on the front, but neither are great on the front. And uh, it's usually whoever gets the better trip. And, and Jody made me look bad a bunch of times earlier in the year, and luckily uh, I was able to come out on top tonight. You know, uh, after that mile last time out, 53 and change, were you confident she was back to maybe a, to what she was last year? Yeah, and, and you know, Kyle was really, was really confident in her the last few weeks, and. And she's, she's, when she gets a good trip, she's got a wicked motor. So uh, it, was, it was good to finally have a nice trip pay off and, and to uh, just see what she can do because that's the Willie's home run we're all used to. All right, you're, you're catching Doug in the point stand. Now. Congratulations, James. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Thank you. Back to victory lane, return six, Willie's home run. Three-year-old Archangel Philly out of the muscle mass mare right out of the park. Homebred owned by Dr. Sarah Gatchel, Yolanda Fellows along with Jake and Reg Higgs. Trained by Kyle Fellows, driven to victory by James McDonald. For Willie's home run, it's a fourth win this year from 11 attempts. Career victory number 10 comes tonight as she stops the clock to capture the super final in impressive come from behind fashion yet again. With a trophy presentation to the winning connections, 
It's Mayor Gord Krantz from the town of Milton joining us here tonight, making the presentation to winning connections of Willie's home run. There we go. All right, guys. Look in here. Look in my way. Big uh, smiles. Perfect. Thank you. All right, Willie's home run captures the OSS Super Final here for three-year-old Philly Trotters. I'm here with a pair of co-owners, Rob Fellows and Sarah Gatcho. Rob, I'm going to start off with you first. Obviously, uh, the three-year-old campaign didn't start maybe the way that you wanted to in terms of how she finished off her two-year-old campaign. But after the last few starts, were you confident that she was getting back into gear going into tonight? Yeah, I, I was. I mean, I have the utmost respect for the Philly. She got better trips. She beat us the first two times of the year. Um, we were no good in the semifinal. We got a rough trip. And then we were not healthy, but we came along and we've had a, you know, the rest of the season's been good. You know, as panelists and as prognosticators, a lot of us kind of talked about, oh, she's better when she's got a target. Um, she's not as, uh, you know, sharp when she's on the lead. But uh, you beg to differ. Maybe speak about that. Well, last year she won all her races on the front end, which she was better than them then. Um, but, like, she can, you know, she can leave like her brother. Like, she can leave and get her spotted. And today, like, it, it, everything worked out. I was a little worried getting away third because... You know, you have to, that's a death trip around here. So, uh, but when Jody moved out and we were, had cover, I was pretty confident because both those horses used the same amount of energy to get to a second and third in the first turn. So they, they had whatever they had left for the stretch. Super final winner last year, super final winner this year. Uh, uh, Rob, what's next for this filly now? Uh, we're going to probably take her to the Meadowlands next Saturday night and uh, try against the open competition. It's a di they're different horses, but she's earned her way. Well, we look forward to it, and congratulations, Rob. Thank you very much. Right, we're going to bring in a winning co-owner, Sarah Gatcher. Uh, Sarah, obviously, the last couple of years, I mean, what's it just, what's it been like owning this filly? Well, it's beyond any kind of expectation that we've had. Uh, so it was just really, really exciting. First of all, just owning a racehorse. So she's basically the, the culmination of a promise that I made to my father when I was really young, that one day, uh, who, who instilled my love of horse racing, and one day he, he asked me to buy a racehorse, you know, if I ever became a veterinarian and, uh, and name it after him. So that was the, that was the, that was the goal. Uh, and as luck would have it, my father-in-law, who has been in this, this uh, race industry for decades, um, gave us the opportunity to own a broodmare and she was the first foal. And so it wasn't, uh, it was for sure uh, gonna be Willie's home run, named after my father, William. And, uh, and recently, my dad passed, uh, actually last week, from, uh, from Alzheimer's. And so unfortunately, he didn't get to ever really watch her race. Uh, by the time she was a two-year-old, he, uh, he was stricken with fairly severe dementia. But I think my dad was up there tonight, and I think he was, uh, and I think he was cheering her on, and I think he gave her that last push boy when she, when she blew by everybody. So, Dad, I, I think this one was, uh, was your doing. So I think that she displayed the similar traits as your father that she did on the racetrack, a phenomenal effort. And uh, I mean, just uh, I mean, even from an ownership standpoint, is uh, what's next for even going to next year? You guys looking to race her as a four-year-old? Is that some, a discussion you guys have had as collectively? Uh, well, you know, uh, Rob, uh, you know, uh, Rob brought that up with my husband just recently, <laughs> already starting to plan for her four-year-old season. But also, you know, we're looking ahead because, of course, she will eventually be a broodmare. Uh, she's going to be what we assume is a replacement of her mom. And, uh, and so, uh, so we're not in a hurry to rush her to the broodmare uh, barn yet. Of course, I'd love to get her over the million dollars, uh, like her brother, and who, who maybe hopefully might be a, maybe two million this year. So, uh, so if she could get over the million dollars, I mean, that's what, that would be wonderful. That's what I'd really like to have before I retire. Well, Sarah, congratulations on tonight. Best Thank of you. luck next week and going forward. And definitely your dad uh, was definitely had something to do with what happened tonight as well. So. I think so. Thanks, John. No problem. There's Willie's home run, Sarah Gatchel, Rob Fellows, Kyle Fellows, and James McDonald who cap off a second OSS Super Final victory here.